Hi, everybody. Um, I hope that you are all doing well today. As for me, my allergies are absolutely going crazy off the wall. My husband and I had dinner last night out on the deck. We figured since the weather was actually, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that word anymore. We figured since the weather was good and very um, summer-like, we had dinner outside on the deck. I made chicken veronique, which is chicken breasts with a creamy sauce and grapes. Um, I had some tabbouleh and we just, you know what? It was just one of those nights where we had a really good time and a really good dinner. We have been working, both have been working so hard lately that um, we just haven't sat down to have a really good talk. And it was great because now it's getting darker out early. So he said, oh, I think I will be romantic and get the candles and light them. So we had dinner by candlelight out on the deck. And it was great, but the bad thing is it affected my allergies so bad that I have that post-nasal drip and stuff, so it's like crazy, but whatever. Um, I was able to put makeup on to disguise it. And look, I am wearing this cute little puppy sweater from J. Crew Factory that I got like maybe a year ago, um, it was supposed to be a Christmas present for my daughter, but I forgot to give it to her, so I kept it. Anyway, um, my daughter, Una, and my future son-in-law, Sam, who I will be seeing next week when I go to visit them in Cincinnati, they just got the cutest little golden doodle yesterday. She's so cute, and her name is Gracie, and she is just a little nugget of adorableness. And I hope that they bring her here at Christmas so Cousin Chippy can meet Cousin Gracie. Oh, God, I love puppies so much. They're so adorable. And Una and Sam seem to be really good puppy parents because they did everything right. They got Gracie a little puppy dog stuffed toy that has a little ticky clock in it so it can be reminiscent of her mommy's heartbeat when she goes to sleep at night in her crate. They've been taking her out diligently. And, you know, what can I say? There's something about having a dog that, I don't know, it's just great. I come from a dog family. All my brothers and sisters have dogs and their kids are all having dogs. So what, what can I say? What can I say? But anyway, I am here today because I am going to do a review on some more Korean beauty products that I have. There's two of them, um, actually two, mm, two and a half because I have refills. But let me tell you about the first one. I ordered this cushion foundation by Misha. It's M-I-S-S, -S, wait, hold on, M-I-S-S-H-A, Misha M Magic Cushion Moisture, number 21, it has SPF 50, and I have to tell you in all honesty, there's not much product in here, I don't know how much product is in here because um, I will, even with a magnifying glass, I can't read some of the um, fine print. But I will tell you, this cushion foundation is super califragilistic expialidocious square. Um, as you may or may not know, I am a fan of cushion foundation. I'm going to compare the two of these and what I like about each one and what I don't like about each one. Um, this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation is great and it's hydrating, but 
You don't know what hydrating is until you try the Korean Cushion Foundation. Um, I like this so much, and I know that there isn't a lot of product in here, that I ended up ordering, hold on, I ended up ordering two refills. Now, the price of this Cushion Foundation was four, is $14.99 on Amazon. I will put the link down below. Um, this will be up later, so I will put the link down below. Since I knew that there wasn't a lot of product in here, I did order two refills. I'm not going to open them yet um, because I don't want the, I just don't want anything to ruin them. But as you can see, it has refill here. Um, both are number 21. It's very fair. Um, I ordered both of these for $19.99 off of Amazon. So it came down to $10 a piece. Whereas this was $14.99. Um, let me open this. The compact is really nice and I love packaging. So we get a mirror in here, an applicator sponge, and we open the little door, and here is the product. Now, As you can see, it's light. And, you know, for me, it works because I'm very fair skinned. Now, here's the thing about the applicator brush or applicator brush, applicator sponge. A lot of products made in the USA or a lot of other beauty products come with sponges that really you're best off just throwing them out. I don't know what it is about the Korean products, but this sponge applicator is really, really good. Um, it does pick up product, and when you put it on your face, it actually de it deposits it very well, like you get a good deposit. And what I do after this is deposited on my face, I take a brush. I don't use a beauty blending sponge. I take a very, very soft brush. The brush that I use is by IT Cosmetics because it's very soft. And I just blend it in. That's all, that's all that's needed. This is so sinking hydrating. It's unbelievable. Now, is it full coverage? No, it isn't full coverage. But for what I need, and I think this is really good for mature skin because all I want to do when I wear this is to even out my skin tone. I have blotchiness, and because of my allergies, I have a very red nose. Um, I don't have rosacea, but I really do need to even out my skin tone. And let me tell you something, this does the job without being full coverage. There's coverage, and it's light. But it's a translucent light. It's not like an opaque light. It's just really, really good. And I love a dewy finish. I think that the older that we get, a dewy finish actually helps to give off some light and detract from the lines that we have. Far be it from me to be an expert because I'm no expert. But this is what I feel is really important. Now I'm gonna get back to this by comparing it with the cushion foundation from Wet n Wild. But I wanted to show you another product. This is, I, okay, there we go. This is a brow cushion product by the company Laneige, another Korean beauty company. I did not know about these brow cushions until I saw a video by Nikki Tutorial on YouTube. And she was all gaga, not over this Laneige product, but a very, very expensive one. So I figured that there had to be something less expensive. And sure enough, I found it on Amazon. 
I swear to you, I love Amazon. And this is definitely a dead ringer or a doppelganger for um, the product that Nikki Tutorial was talking about. Anyway, this is adorable. Comes nicely compacted, so it's great for travel. Here we go. Here is the product. Now, this is a dark brown and a lighter brown. And since I do wear a lot of lighter colored wigs, I thought this would be a good color choice for me. I also am going to do more research to see if they make a darker color because I would also like this in a darker color. But anyway, it also comes, hold on, let me close that. It also comes with this adorable little brush, a spoolie on one end, and an applicating brush on another. This is great because the line is so precise that it makes it so easy to apply the product. Um, there's a mirror in case you have really good eyes. Unlike me, I need a magnifying mirror. Or a magnifying glass, but all you do is just dip very lightly into the gel and it's like, it's wet. When you apply it, it's, it's very, very, it, it, it's wet, but not liquidy. And once you apply it, here we go. I put this on about an hour ago, okay? So this doesn't move. Like once you apply this brow product, it doesn't move. It stays all day. It's unbelievable. Um, I paid, I did pay, this was actually a little pricey. It was 20 bucks on Amazon, but it's still half the price of the expensive expensive one that Nikki Tutorial was using. I believe she the, the brow product that she was talking about was $40. And that's a lot. I mean, this is going to last a long time. So I think for the price per use, it's actually, it's pretty good. You know what? I'm going to start a drinking game for everybody who watches this. Please watch my videos in the evening after 5 p.m., preferably on a Friday or Saturday evening, because you can do a drinking game called How Many Times Is Kathy Going to Use the Word Actually? And every time I use that word, take a shot. Trust me, you will be numb after five minutes. Okay, so now I am going to compare what I like about the cushion foundation from Wet n Wild versus the cushion foundation from Misha. Okay, both of these are cushion foundation. What I like about the Misha is that the color 21 is definitely more conducive to my fair skin. What I found with the cushion foundations from Wet n Wild is that they really don't have an exact match to my skin. So I have to go a little darker, but it blends in so well that it doesn't matter. The other thing that I like is that this is $8 compared to the $14 of this. So this is a lot less expensive than this. Um, I do find that the product, the foundation from this cushion foundation is thicker than the cushion foundation in this. I happen to like the thinner because even though it's thinner, it does give a good, um, it gives a good coverage for evening out what I need. I also like the applicator in this better than the applicator in this. I mean, I don't even, yeah, I threw that out the applicator in this crap. Um, this is um, like, this is, you know what? There's really nothing left. There's hardly anything left in here. Um, I will say 
for the fact that this is less expensive and this is more expensive, the product lasts longer in this than in this. Um, I would say when I use this Wet n Wild on a regular basis, I run out of the foundation within two weeks. So, you know, I mean, how good is that? Eight dollars, two weeks. So you have to keep refilling for so for price per use. I believe that this could run a little pricier, but overall, I still like this. This is still hydrating. Um, this at this could be used very nicely in a travel kit especially for the weekend because you're not going to be spending your time applying makeup when you want to go out sightseeing or to dinner so this may be a better choice for traveling whereas i think this could be a good use for every day in your house and with the refills that are available it's great I do not believe that there are any refills for this. But the fact that there are refills for this makes me really, really like it even more. So that's it for the Korean products. But I do want to touch base on another product that I purchased. It's a powder. Hold on. Where are you? Okay. This is the Locket Brightening Powder by Kat Von D. And I ordered this because it was super inexpensive. I believe that it's been discontinued or maybe it's been repackaged, I'm not sure, but I paid like maybe less than $5 for this because I do like the Locket Foundation and I do like the Locket Concealer. So I figured, let me try this now. This is a great setting powder. Um, one of the things that I've started doing in my advanced age is not baking, but I've been setting my makeup just underneath my eyes and on my nose and not even on my cheeks, just like really over here over here and over here simply because my mascara has a tendency to um smear during the day and i want to stop that and i'm working all day i don't have time to redo my makeup my goal at work is to be efficient as possible and get the job done i'm old school so i did decide to buy this now under normal circumstances, I would open this on camera, but this is such a mess to open, and it is the biggest con about this powder. I mean, I open it, it's freaking all over the place. I need to put a paper towel under this when I open it, but I will say it works great. Does it brighten? Me. I don't know. I use a highlighter anyway. So I don't know if it really brightens. This is the color petal, but it is a very flattering color for my fair skin tone. But I will say, I apply it. First, I put my concealer on. Then I just like wait a minute and I blend it in with either a brush or with a blending sponge. Then I will take this and put a damp blending sponge into this messy little jar. And then I will just pat the powder on. I'll wait like maybe five minutes. And then I'll brush it off. And it real honestly, it does a great, great, great job. I really am a fan of this. I compare it to the Cody Airspun. I like both of them. I think the Airspun is great. And this is really great too. I, I have no complaints. So that's about it. Um, how many of you put twirly do's on your wrist? 
and keep them there all day, almost as a bracelet. It's so funny because I wear wigs, but as soon as I come home from work or as soon as I come home from wherever I'm going, I take my wigs off because at home I wear my natural hair and I put my hair up like what's left of it in a messy bun. And I always have these hanging around. Everybody has a nickname for these things. I call them twirly doos. We grew up in my family calling them twirly doos. Maybe it's a Long Island thing, but I have these twirly doos on every single doorknob in the house. So that's about it. I am off to get my nails done. Look, they're so disgusting. Oh God, they're so gross. I haven't had my nails done in mm, close to a month. Roman was over last weekend, so I didn't have time for that. The weekend before we were in DC, so I didn't have time for that. So I'm just going to go treat myself to getting my nails filled in, getting a pedicure, and getting my hairy chin waxed. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. And then I'm going to come home and I am going to write some well-needed blog posts because I've been really lacking in my blog posts due to work. When I come home from work, I'm so stinking tired. All I want to do is just like veg. It's crazy. But anyway, today I'm wearing Isla by Tony of Beverly. It's kind of hot out today, and I thought I would go for a short and fasty today and give my other wigs a rest. I haven't worn Isla in a long time, and I really, really like this super short, big, big bob. And with my eyes, I used MAC powders today, MAC powder eyeshadows. And for the rest of my face, as far as my contour and my blush go, which you really can't see because of the lighting, I used the Emily Edits The Needs Palette. Oh my God, I think and love that palette so much. It is, I have to say, every single woman in the entire world should have The Needs. It's just the perfect palette. I have two of them. One is on my little vanity and one is at the ready in my travel bag, especially for next weekend. So I got to go. I got to get to the nail place and I will see you later. Have a great day. Oh, wait a minute. Now it's time for my sales pitch, which I hate because I'm like the worst salesperson in the world. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please give it a th thumbs down. Even though I really don't like to see thumbs down, I like honesty. Um, if you are of the mature age group and are interested in makeup and wigs and basically anything that I need to say, which sometimes isn't a lot, most of the times isn't a lot, um, please subscribe. It would be really nice if you subscribe. Um, and I'm kind of... I hate giving this spiel because I'm really uncomfortable asking people to do stuff. Um, but seriously, I hope you subscribe and press that little bell so that you know that when I do a video, you will be notified. Because let's face it, I'm no Steven Spielberg or Ridley Scott, and my videos are of shitty quality. But at least I'm honest. So that's it. Have a great day. Let the sun shine in. If you have a puppy or a doggy, give it a hug. If you have a kitty cat or a kitten, give it a hug. If you have an ostrich, give it a hug. If you have an alpaca, give it a hug. Just give your little animal a hug. Just, they're cute. Bye-bye.